welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss syntax directed definition in short it is represented as sdd this syntax directed definition is simply a combination of context free grammar with semantic rules so we already know what is a context free grammar how do we represent context free grammar simply the context free grammar consists of set of productions suppose for each and every production if you are adding semantic rule then that grammar becomes the syntax directed definition okay so each and every context free grammar consists of productions for each and every production we have one semantic rule is placed so in this consider the grammar we have two notations in sdd we have two things we have to remember one is what is mean by attribute and what is semantic rule simply attributes associated with grammar symbol that is a production consists of different symbols the attributes are associated with each and every grammar symbol but the semantic rule is associated to a production that is one production we have only one semantic rule here the attributes are anything suppose attributes can be either a string or attribute can be a number or attribute is some type of memory location whatever it is depending upon the grammar anything it is an attribute but what about the semantic rule simply semantic rules are the part of or a fragment of code that are placed that is the code that is embedded yet remember end at the end of production so semantic rule means simply the code that is placed at the end of production so before explaining one example first to assume in the production x is a symbol consider a production within the production assume x is a symbol so the symbol x consists of any number of attributes assume a is one of its attribute a is one of its attribute generally in the semantic production we are representing as x dot a what is the meaning of x dot a x dot a represents the value at to node x that means for this symbol and if you are providing the attribute simply it gives the value it gives the value so how do you represents in the form of sdd i will show you assume you have a production e tends to e1 plus t is this is the context free grammar uh, at the end of the production within curly braces you are writing the semantic rule like this e dot val assume val is an attribute tends to e1 dot val plus t dot val for example you have one more production assume e tends to t so here you are writing e dot val tends to t dot val this entire thing is called as sdd you got it this is context free grammar and this one is semantic rule here in this example e t e1 all those are called symbols val is the attribute okay this is the basic introduction to syntax directed definition next we will move to types of attributes types of attributes we just now discussed val is one type of attribute along with attributes are either a memory either a string number so generally 
these attributes are characterized into two types one is synthesized attribute one is synthesized attribute the second one is inherited attribute inherited attribute so first i will explain the synthesized attribute simply here i will write down the definition if a node takes value from a node takes value from its children then it is called as synthesized attribute for example consider a production a tends to b c d in this production we already know a is called parent node the left side of the production is called parent node here b comma c comma d are called children node now what do you mean by synthesized attribute a node takes value from its children so a dot val is equal to b dot val that is a is the parent it takes value from any one of the children not all the three so or else a dot val is equal to c dot val suppose a dot val is equal to d dot d val so in this example this is called synthesized attribute okay so val is the attribute associated with each grammar symbol exactly coming to reverse process inherited attribute what is the meaning if a node takes value from its a node takes value from its parent or siblings if a node takes value from its parent or sibling what is mean by sibling so children of the same parent suppose consider the same production a tends to b c d here here a is called parent node b comma c comma d are called children node assume uh, b dot i uh, for example is equal to a dot i or else c dot i is equal to b dot i c dot i is equal to d dot i what is mean by any attribute you can write anything v a l u s o i j whatever it is assume i is the attribute here see this one b the node takes value from its children for example uh, c dot i is equal to a dot i consider this one c is the node it it is the children node it takes value from its parent the node c takes value from the sibling that is left sibling the node c takes value from the right sibling all of the possible case okay if a node takes value from its parent or siblings here in this case a dot i is equal to it is not possible why in inherited attribute only child node takes the value in synthesized attribute only parent node takes the value based on these types of attributes these types of attributes the syntax directed definition is also divided into two types so first one we discussed the basic syntax directed definition and in the context free grammar along with the semantic rule two types of attributes are possible based on the two types of attributes this syntax directed definition is also characterized into two categories one is s attributed syntax directed definition and the second one is l attributed syntax directed definition so what is mean by s attribute 
an SDD that is a syntax directed definition uses only remember uses only synthesized attributes such means here I am writing an SDD suppose if the SDD that uses only synthesized attributes that SDD is called S attributed SDD for example a tends to B C D. If this is the grammar production, here A dot V A L is equal to B dot V A L. A dot V A L is equal to C dot V A L. A dot V A L is equal to D dot V A L. So here this production that is this grammar consists of only synthesized attributes. Now this is called S attributed S D D. Okay, and here generally, if you are constructing the S attributed SDD, the semantic crews are placed at the end of the production. In the simple sense, at the right end, that is after completion of the production, at the right end only, we are writing the semantic rules. We are writing the semantic rules. Okay. Only at the right end. But coming to this one, L attributed SDD. What is this one? A SDD that uses both, both synthesized attributes and Inherited attributes. SDD that uses both synthesized attributes and inherited attributes. It is called L attributed SDD. But very, very important. You have to remember one point. Suppose if you are using inherited attribute, what is the meaning? An inherited attribute that is a node takes the value from its parent or sibling. But in L attributed, each inherited attribute, inherited attribute is restricted to inherit from, to inherit from parent that is fine or left to sibling only. Remember, you got it? Generally, inherited attribute inherit from the parent or sibling. So, in this one, in the previous one, so inherited attribute means here we are writing only sibling. Whether it is a left sibling or right sibling, not a problem. But in L attributed SDD, inherit from either parent or left sibling only. Suppose A tends to B, C, D. Here you are writing. Uh, assume b dot value is equal to a dot value b is the child takes value from its parent this is perfectly right suppose b dot value is equal to b dot value is equal to in uh, instead of that one i am writing c c dot value is equal to b dot value that is C takes value from its left sibling. Assume C dot value is equal to D dot value. Even though it is inherited attribute. But it does not satisfy why C takes value from right sibling. You got the meaning? A node takes the value from either the parent or left to sibling only, then it is called as L attributed SDD. Okay. Here, the one more important point is we are placing the semantic rules at the right hand side of the production at anywhere. Within the production, you can place at anywhere. But in S attributed, we have to place at the right end of the production. Okay. So, finally, I am given the conclusion. 
so syntax directed definition simply this is the combination of context free grammars along with the semantic rules each and every grammar consists of productions each and every semantic rule is associated with a production a production consists of different grammar symbols so attributes are associated with the grammar symbols okay attributes are associated with the grammar symbols assume this is the production and within early curly braces we are writing the semantic rules now we have two types of attributes a synthesized attribute inherited attribute synthesized in the sense here a node takes the value from its children that is called synthesized inherited that is the node takes the value from its parent or sibling sibling in the sense whether it is a left child or right child not a problem based on the types of attributes this sgd is also divided into two types s attributed l attributed suppose consider a grammar if it consists of only synthesized attribute then that is called as s attributed sgd in s attributed sgd we are placing the semantic rules at the right end of the production only but coming to l attributed we can use either synthesized attribute inherited attribute both are allowed suppose if you are using the concept of synthesized attribute compulsory whether it takes the value from its parent or the left sibling only suppose here c takes value from b only or c takes value from a but c does not takes value from the right sibling these are two different types of sgds so in the next session we will discuss one example how to construct an sgd thank you